the Boeing 787 Dreamliner a wide-body jet airliner manufactured by Boeing. The Boeing 787 Dreamliner is built with 50% carbon fiber, 20% aluminium, 15% titanium, 10% steel and 5% other materials. The Dreamliner is lighter, maneuverable, environment-friendly and consumes less fuel. The 787 has a newcomer in the cockpit. The HUD. The HUD is short for head-up display. A glass screen in front of the pilot which displays important information, such as flight direction, speed and altitude. The 787 has a fly-by-wire control system similar in architecture to that of the Boeing 777. The flight deck features multi-function LCDs, which use an industry-standard graphical user interface toolkit cockpit display system interfaces to user systems ARINC 661. The 787 flight deck includes two head-up displays HUDs, as a standard feature. Like other Boeing airliners, the 787 uses a yoke instead of a side stick. Under consideration is future integration of forward-looking infrared into the HUD for thermal sensing, allowing pilots to see through clouds. Lockheed Martin's Orion spacecraft will use a glass cockpit derived from Honeywell International's 787 flight deck systems. The Dreamliner has one of the biggest non-traditional windows, there are no manual blinders, the window transparency can be controlled by the passenger electronically. All 787 will be equipped with free Wi-Fi on board. The three years cabin renovation project enhanced the seating space between the rows with a much wider seat space. The airplane seats is equipped with an 11-inch touchscreen, taking the latest technology of an internet satellite antenna. During the late 1990s, Boeing considered replacement aircraft programs as sales of the 7, 6, 7 and the 7th to the 4th of July 400 slowed. Two new aircraft were proposed. The 747X would have lengthened the 7th to the 4th of July 400 and improved efficiency, and the Sonic Cruiser would have achieved 15% higher speeds, approximately Mach 0.98, while burning fuel at the same rate as the 767. Market interest for the 747X was tepid, however, several major American airlines, including Continental Airlines, showed initial enthusiasm for the Sonic Cruiser, although concerns about the operating cost were also expressed. 
on December 20, 2002. On January 29, 2003 Boeing announced an alternative product, the 7E7, using Sonic Cruiser technology in a more conventional configuration. The emphasis on a smaller midsize twinjet rather than a large 747 size aircraft represented a shift from hub and spoke theory toward the point-to-point -point theory, in response to analysis of focus groups. Randy Barzler, Boeing Commercial Airplanes VP Marketing stated that airport congestion comes from a large numbers of regional jets and small single aisles, flying to destinations where a 550-seat A380 would be too large, to reduce the number of departures, smaller airplanes can increase 20% in size and airline hubs can be avoided with point-to-point -point transit. On December 16, 2003, Boeing announced that the N-87 would be assembled in its factory in Everett, Washington. Instead of conventionally building the aircraft from the ground up, final assembly employed 800 to 1,200 people to join completed subassemblies and to integrate systems, Boeing assigned global subcontractors to do more assembly work, delivering completed subassemblies to Boeing for final assembly. This approach was intended to result in a leaner, simpler assembly line and lower inventory, with pre-installed systems reducing final assembly three quarters to three days, subcontractors had early difficulties procuring needed parts and finishing subassemblies on schedule, leaving remaining assembly work for Boeing to complete as traveled work. In 2010, Boeing considered in-house construction of the 787-9 tail, the tail of the 787-8 is made by a lean the 787 was unprofitable for some subcontractors, Alenia's parent company, Finmechanica, had a total loss of 750 million euros on the project by 2013. At launch, Boeing targeted 20% less fuel burn than replaced aircraft like the Boeing 767, carrying 200 to 300 passengers on point-to-point -point routes up to 16,000 kilometers. The life cycle of a typical airplane ranges from 25 to 30 years. The 787 Dreamliner's life cycle could be up to 80 years, thanks for the materials used in building the airplane body which is resistant to corrosion and humidity. The 787 Dreamliner is a revolution. 
with many renovations and technology. A fruit of many years and thousands of man-hours of research and development. Indeed it is the new state of the art.